What's the chow chin chow? It's Peach Games here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Maze. In the last episode, what did we do? We went down to the hard water hole and we released the bird, the legendary bird trio of Kanto, which were being held captive by Team. Uh, what the hell is the name of the. Team Quarry, that's it, Team Quarry. Sorry about that, my head's all over the place today. Okay, Doki, so let's take a look at the team rather quickly because I've got a few surprises I want to show you guys. First off, new team member. Remember a couple of episodes where we had Bart on the team for the Steel type gym? Now, a Bart is officially a team member. He's level 38, he's a Sand Slash. I love using Sand Slash, it's just amazing. Look at that attack stat and that defense, awesome. Anyway, this is his uh, this is his moves. He kind of is all over the place because of the fact it's it's all TMs except for slash, but it's still pretty good. He knows dig, rock slide, iron tail, and slash. He is level 38 at this moment in time, so he's pretty good. I did have to take a long time to grind him up. It did take a long time though. But everyone else is level 38 too, and that's probably should be the last grinding montage of this game. So James is level 38 as well with Cut, Razor Leaf, Tackle and Poison Powder. Amazing. We have Lumos level 38 with uh, Scald, Ice Beam, Tackle and Flash. Yep, I found Ice Beam and I told it to him. So, yep. Awesome. Actually, you saw, you saw that in the last episode. And we have Nitro, the Hornstro, level 38 with Wing Attack, Fain Attack, Nightshade and Fly. We have Shinx, V Houndoom, level 38, Dark Fire type, as we know, with Ember, Bite, Fain Attack, and Fire Blast. I found the TM for Fire Blast as well. Awesome. And we have Super. Our Pika Blue, with uh, Surf, Swift, Thunder Shock, and Thunder Wave. I wish you would learn Thunderbolt, but you don't. Without some kind of evolution, I'm guessing, and I don't really know where the Thunderstone is in this game, and I don't even know if this Pikachu can evolve. So yeah, there's not really much I can do about this Pikachu, but I find it really fun though. Across this bridge is going to be a lot of flying type Pokemon because the flying types decided to is the birds decided to destroy this bridge. It's not cool. I'm going to use Rock Slide here. It's not the first time I've actually seen Rock Slide in this game. Actually, that's the, first, that's the first time I've seen Gem 1 Rock Slide. Power! Yeah, I'm going to repel up. That's pretty cool, but I'm still going to repel up. Where's the repels? Where's my repels? I have repels. Good. I believe this is going to be one of our last two episodes, so hopefully this should be rather fun. But we're going to our last uh, city here today. Euphoria City. Europa City. Ah! My eyes... Um... Do my eyes spot another brave soul? Nothing like a battle on an unstainable bridge. Okay, mate. You really want to fight out here with all these birds around? Okay. You have a Geodude. Not bad. Since I can destroy this with my good friend here. Iron Tail. Not even bad. Wrecked. Oh my god, Bart, you're awesome. I only trained up for the gym, the last gym of the game. That's all I did. And let's go into uh, James on this v on this Onyx here, which is also level 21. I didn't even need the grind. But uh, what I did was I thought, like, instead of, like, grinding everyone up, because, like, the uh, Luma would be out of... Luma would be over-leveled if I grinded everyone up. So I decided I'll grind everyone to Luma's levels, and that way no one's overleveled. All they're all overleveled. It's really up to uh, what happens here. It's all just up to them. So many birds, too many bird, so many bird droppings. Wow, he's covered in him. He's covered in bird poop. <laughs> That's not good. Anyway, uh, question of the day for today's episode. Is your favourite flying type Pokemon? Let me know in the comment section down below. And since we are coming down to it, I want to know your thoughts and opinions on this hack. I want to, you to give me an honest uh, like couple of words what you think of this hack. Whether you think it's a good hack, whether you think it's a bad hack, whether you actually would like to see more on it when the hack is officially released. There's no exit to the east. Uh, the ex- wait, hang on. 
Okay. The route to the east, the uh, route east of here, used to connect to Copper Town, but a earthquake did a lot of damage. I think it even exposed an opening into the Mercer Tunnels. Bring a rappel or two if you head in there. Okay. So this uh, part of the city is glit. Uh, this city is a bit glitchy, I will admit this right now, because this is the last city of the beta. This is the last city of beta 3.2 here in Pokemon Maze, so it's a bit glitchy, all the sprites here, but that's just, that's just the way it is. I used to waste so much time and money at the uh, Euphoria P Europa Casino. It's a good thing it, they tore it down and replaced it with a famous barrel factory. It's promotion. It promotes a much healthier habits. Okay. And we will look at the battle factory in a minute, because I just want to talk to everyone right now. You! My favourite move is Metronome. You'll never know what you'll get. Isn't it exciting? Nah, kind of. I prefer not to ever use Metronome, because, like, if you use Metronome, it's kind of really hard. I'm struggling to earn the lucky badge. Chance leaving everything. Le chance leaves everything up to chance. So I can't prepare for a good strategy for the battle. I guess you could always resort to grinding up the levels of many Poke of my Pokemon. Okay, so. We've got a few things we can do here. We've got a few things we can do. We can go here to the outpost. We can go to the gym. We can go to the last gym of the game. Or we can go to the battle factory. I think we'll do all three in today's episode, maybe. But let's go to the battle. F let's go to here first. You look like a thrill seeker. This used to be an outpost, but I got bored. I should probably change the sign out front. Welcome to the bike park. Where you can ride as fast as you want. For a small fee of 600 poke, you can rent a bicycle and use it until your tires run out of air. What do you say? Would you like to enter the park? You know what? Yeah, I would like to enter the park. Great! Inside there is a bicycle with a little bit of air in the tires. You have to keep an eye on the air pressure. Enter the door on your left to start. Okay. Okay, so welcome to this game's version of the Safari Zone. It is a bike maze, and it is one of the hardest mazes ever to complete. Because, basically, you've got to look out for these pumps. And if you use the pumps, you can get to place... You can't... Oh, I like, somehow restarted. Great. Glitch. Fantastic, I got glitched out. That's not cool. Can I please not have that happen to me? This didn't happen to me the first time I played this game. I want to play. I just wasted 600 quid playing in this game. I want to play again. Let me play again. Yeah, I know the rules. Let me play again. I'm going to get this right. Because you glitched me out there. I want my... M if I have to, like, cheat in, like, money to play this game. So I will. Okay, so this is the uh, most one of the most glitchiest games there is. It's just fun though. Okay, so we added uh, some air to our tires, and we can pick up this item. It's not a hyper potion. Cool, but you've got to try and ignore items really in this game because the fact is, if you're not careful, that will happen. So you've got to be careful and go across the pumps. I'm going to try one more time. So hopefully this will work because strength is at the bottom of this thing and I want strength. So I'm going to try one more time to get strength. I'm going to try and ignore all the items and we'll come back here eventually after I've earned some cash at the gym. And they're going to get all the rest of the items. That should probably be the plan. But for now I'm going to just try and get to the strength. So... I'm going to maybe like turn this into a montage. So I will see you guys in a couple of seconds. Thank you. 
Okie dokie guys, I'm sorry about that, I kind of suck at this game. Yeah, so that's not always the best thing. I feel like that's gonna be a really hard that's gonna be a really hard thing to do. I need to go and get strength, so I might have to do that off screen and show you it in a grinding montage once I got enough cash to uh, show you it, because it's gonna take a lot of cash to run that one. I might have to like sell all my things just to try and get just to try and get enough goes. Because I don't even know if I have enough things to sell. I might. I don't know. You know what, I might try and get the amulet. Yeah, let's go and get the amulet boot. Because we have the booster ring on, but since we don't really need to grind anymore, let's go and get the amulet let's go and get the amulet ring. Because that might be useful here. So let's withdraw. Let's go and see if we can find the amulet ring. We can even sell those rare candies, but we probably won't need them. There it is. Amulet ring. Okay, so I'm going to attach the amulet ring. Don't really need the booster ring anymore. I'm going to use the amulet ring and get double the amount of prize money from battles. Hopefully that should help with this, uh, you know, this uh, bike path. But let's go into the gym. Welcome to the roulette gym. This is one of the hardest gyms you guys will ever face. Nice. So here we go. Hey yo, all right, bear. Yeah, with me. All right, bear with me here. These guys are high stakes trainers. They use random Pokemon every time you battle, and if you leave the gym. You have to fight them all again. Chance lives, lives by all or nothing. Philosophy. Good luck. You'll need it. Okay, so Chance, the gym leader here, lives in a believes in a all or nothing uh, lifestyle. So let's risk it all and face the roulette. Welcome. If you wish to gain the Lucky Badge, you'll need to beat all five of us without leaving the gym. Plus, you'll have to play our fun game. Here we go, what are we going to get? Heal! Oh my god, we got heal. Oh, that is amazing. Now, how this gym works is, there's a roulette, and there's a random chance that you will face as many pe uh, you will have to face all these people, but there's a random chance of what you're going to get. And they're all star ailments except for one, which is heal, which will heal your entire team. And then we battle. So, if we get poisoned, the entire team's poisoned. If we get paralyzed, the entire team's paralyzed. If we get burned, the entire team's burned. If we get freeze, the entire team's frozen, which would be, like, incredibly broken. And, of course, if we get, like, you know, any kind of status element, it's incredibly bad for this, so it's just really about luck. This gym is about luck, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's see what happens. Okay, Payday, cool. Can I get the money back from Payday? I mean, like, I know you use Payday, but can I have your money from using Payday? That's a crit, not even bad, Bob. Oh, it's a team. And a Fero. I want to stay in. I want to stay in and rock slide you. Uh, let's go for the rock slide. Yeah, let's go for it. Rock slide, and that should do a lot of damage. That is going to kill. That is going to kill. Nice work, Bart. And a Dugdrio. Uh, let's go into James here. Let's go into James here and go for the Razor Leaf. That's what I want to do. I want to go into James and then Razor Leaf. Oh, you're going to dig. That's fine, I'm pretty sure James can take a dig. Yep, James took that nicely, and that's good for the raise Leaf. And that should be the end of you. Not even bad. Now, obviously, I can't leave the gym here, so I'm going to have to be careful and make sure that I uh, don't do too much damage. You know, to myself. Let's see what we get for round two. Paralyze! Great. Here we go, my entire team's paralyzed. This is going to be a fun battle. Okay, so you start off with a knockdown. 
Yeah, my entire team's paralyzed. This is not cool. Yes, please don't put up a reflect wall when I'm paralyzed. It's not cool. This would be a this gym would be a nuzlocke killer. Like people would just like hate this gym if this was a real thing in the Pokemon games. But I would love to see a gym like this in the Pokemon games. Stop using reflect. Yeah, I'd love to see a gym like this in the Pokemon games. I feel like it would be incredibly broken, but I feel like a lot of people would have a lot of fun with it. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun with it, so, you know. This is an interesting gym concept. Level 39 for Bart. Not even bad Bart. And a Poliwhirl. Well, that is Super's job to deal with. I mean, it would be Super's job to deal with if Super can deal with being paralyzed, so let's see if he can. Super, you know what to do. Eventually. Ooh, that kind of hurts. Let's see if Super can do this. Ooh, nice work, Super. Come on. You can survive another water gun. Come on, Super. And... Oh, yeah. Nice work, Super. Okay, so that's two. And you have a growl F. Well, let's go to Luma, then. And let's see if Luma can take down this growl F. With a Scold? Yeah, Scold. Crunch. Ooh, that's nasty since it's super effective against me. But I can handle it. Scold. Down you go. That was a crit. Oh my god. Nice work, Luma. And a Sand Slash. I want to stay in. I will stay in and I will Scold you too. Okay, I can lift the Scratch and now... There we go. Down you go. This gym does not have a specific typing, so this is fun. Level 39 for Luma. Not even bad. We beat the gambler. Alright. Luck is on my side, apparently. Okay, so number three. I don't want to fold. What are we going to get? Here we go. Round three. Sleep. Okay, so my entire team is asleep. This is not cool. Wake up. Please wake up. This is not cool. I want... I, do I have awakenings? No, um, I have full heals. But I don't want to waste a full heal here. You know what? I might want to waste one. I'm going to waste one full heal. And then I'm going to switch. Okay, so clearly there's some kind of emergency today. Because uh, there's police cars going outside my fi my house again. It's, it's so annoying when that happens. Going into Luma here was a great idea, actually. No, I wasn't bluffing. I can handle you. Okay, so, you're the fourth guy. It's time to go all in and see what happens. Lose PP. So, I'm going to lose half of my PP for this episode. Uh, this. I think I've still got all my stat. I don't know if I've got all my status conditions still, or if they've healed me from status conditions. Don't really know what's going on here. Okay, no, I've still got all my status conditions. That's kind of annoying. That is really annoying that I've still got all my status conditions. Can I, like, go into somebody and then try and wake up on the first turn? Because that's what I'm going to need to do here. I'm going to need to pull out a miracle. Wake up, please, Nightcrow. I don't even know if I can go and heal. That's the one of the most annoying things about this gym. I don't know if I can go and heal. Come on, wake up. Nightcrow, wake up, please. It's three turns now, Nightcrow. You could handle this if you just woke up. There we go. Thank you. And let's go for it. Fly! Go up. And down goes the Parasect. Okay, not even bad, Nightcrow. And a hit on top. I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stay in and go for the exact same move again. You missed a counter, and fly, and if you live this, I'm going to be annoyed. 
Nope, you're dead. Cool. And what else do you have? You have another hit on top. I'll stay in and do it again then. Once I'm awake, I can just keep on destroying you. Missed your rolling kick and fly and... Well, you bada bing bada boom, you're done, son. Nice work, Nightcrow. And we destroyed up that trainer. All right, we put down on the final gambler. Well played. You know exactly how to deal with your hands wounds you dealt with the hands you're dealt just now. I am chance. I am the discipline of unfortunate uncertainty. I am the dis disciple of unfortunately. How about we roll the dice? Cool, we rolled a seven. Now that's the way of life. Let's battle. Okay, Leader Blaine, or Leader Chance, starts off with a Noctowl. Okay, so I'm going to be a bit uh, worried about this gym. Come on. Oh, that was a crit. Oh my god. I got a heal. I got a heal, because like I don't even know if you can go and leave the gym, so I just decided not to leave the gym. Because I didn't know if you could leave the gym. I want to like get through this. Okay, I can live in area ways, I think. There's another crit. Stop critting me, please! I would like to live. I'd also like to wake up, please. I mean, I can't really heal. I mean, healing would be okay, but like I'd wait to wake up. There we go. Now I'm awake. I can heal, and it won't cost me too much damage because now I can actually do damage. Now I can actually do damage to you. So rock slide. Let's throw rocks at you and see what happens. I know you got the reflect wall, but still, you're gonna take two. Oh, you missed. All right. And there we go. Knocked out down. All right. And another knocked out. Okay, I can stay in a rock. I'll, you know what? I'll rock slide that too. Let's throw some rocks at you. Because Bart's been amazing to join a team. Bart has been amazing so far. Oh my god, that was a crit. Bart! Bart, you are amazing. And a Suno Wuno. Okay, you can't destroy that Bart, but Luma's awake, so uh, Luma can. I mean, actually, you could have destroyed that. I could have iron tailed. Let's go for the Skull though, because that's Stab and it's Power. Let's go for it. There we go. Suno Wuno down. And your final Pokemon is a Haunter. Well, is Nightcrow's awake? So let's go for Nightcrow here. Yeah, let's go for Nightcrow here. Your final Pokemon's a Haunter. I want to go for the Feint Attack. Dark Void! Oh dear, you, oh, you're going to be one of those Pokemon. You're going to be like Darkrai. Well, let's do one thing to start off with. First off, I'm going to heal up. Okay, and then I'll wake up, and then I'll like wake up as well. Okay, so I can live that, and let's wake up. There we go, let's wake up. And you use a Super Potion when I didn't even do any damage to you. Okay, that's fine. Dream Eater doesn't do it. You can't Dream Eater me when I'm not awake, when I'm not asleep. You need to Dark Void me first. I thought you'd know that already, Gym Leader. See, you're dead. Wow, <laughs> Chance, you just put in it. It wasn't in the cards for me. You weren't the lucky badge. Life is such a strange and wild ride. No matter how hard you try and to plan to, to present and plan something, something will always pop up in its head, in, in head, head and throw you for a loop. That's why I have you to have this. TM35. TM35 contains metronome. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, so basically what he was saying there is everyone makes plans in their lives and sometimes it's really hard to keep those plans. So that's basically the whole concept of that gym. Because it's just basically all in chance. It's just a massive game of chance. So that is not 
bad. I'm going to try out one more facility before we leave today's episode, because let's try out the Battle Factory. Let's try out the Battle Factory, and then in the, in the end slate, I will do a little grinding montage where I will basically just uh, try and get strength, since now I have a bit of cash. Okay, so you... Okay, so you have 32 wins, you have... My best streak is 32 wins in a row. I managed to beat Brock and Koga. Huh. This person is co in corresponding. Battle Factory OS is idle. Okay. Can I talk to Professor Oak? Hello, Joe. Would you like to select a secret team? Select a team for an upcoming challenge? For your upcoming challenge? Yeah. All right. Let me t bring up your choices. Please select three Pokemon from the list. Okay. So I got a Charmander, a Diglett, an Oddish. An Ekins, a Jigglypuff, and a Ditto. Well, let's go with this uh, threesome. Let's go with a Charmander. Let's go with a Diglett. And let's go with a bulky Pokemon in Jigglypuff. Okay, all is set. Let's speak with the receptionist. Okay, when you're ready to start your challenge. I'm the Battle Factory Guide. Should I explain how this works? Yes, you should. Alrighty then. The concept of the Battle Factory is organised in the Hoenn region many years ago. The general idea is fairly simple. Rather than using your own Pokemon, you rent a team of po free Pokemon from us. With that team, you fight amongst other trainers who are all renting Pokemon from us as well. When you defeat a trainer, you can swap one of their Mons for one of your Mons. If you defeat all seven trainers in a row, you'll be promoted to the next class. You will be able to rent a brand new team each time you're promoted and a higher class of untamed tougher Pokemon. You'll, if you're good enough, you might be able to confront some very special opponents and if you beat them, you'll earn fabulous items. If you ever lose, you have to start over. So don't lose. To start, speak to the, the administrator on the right to rent some Pokemon. Mm. Then speak with the receptionist to schedule your battles. Go and get them, champ. Okie dokie. Are you ready for the start of the challenge? Yes, I am. Let's do it. Your current streak is zero. I wish you the best of good luck. Thank you. Let's do this. Current winning streak zero. Initializing battle. Found the opponent, battle begin! Alright, so welcome to the Battle Factory! Basically the concept is you rent Pokemon and then you see what happens. Because they've rented Pokemon too. Okay, so you have a Charmander. Uh, I mean, I have a Charmander and you have a Ditto. And I guess I want to go for Ember to Residual. For, like, I guess that'll work for now. Okay, so now you're now you're a Charmander. That's fine. I was going let's go for Scratch then. Because I just can't think of anything better to do at the moment in time. Please don't leer me. Let's go for the scratches and see what happens. You're gonna rage? Actually I know what Gen 1 Rage is like, it locks you in. So I don't wanna do I don't wanna ever use rage. Gen 1 rage is just annoying. So I'm going to go for the Ember. It's not very effective, but it did nice damage. Now stay in. Ooh, that's nasty. Can I can I kill you with one scratch, please? There we go. Ditto down. And you were Paris. All right. I'm going to go for the Ember. And let's see what happens. Oh, that should probably take it. That's a two-shot. That is a straight-up two-shot. Can we handle it? Ooh, ooh, that was a crit. Buy out speed. Alright, down goes the Paris, and the final Pokemon is a Clefairy. I want to switch out here. Let's go into my Jigglypuff, because, again, Jigglypuff's kind of bulky. Okay, so let's see what Jigglypuff can do eventually once we stop being double slapped in the face. Okay, hit three times. Right, I'm going to sink. I am going to sink. 
Let me sink. I want to sink. Thunder Punch? Oh my god, you used Metro and never got Thunder Punch. Ow. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay, so Jigglypuff. Can you pound? Let's pound away. So that's the only thing I could do with Jiggly Jigglypuff. It's not the time for you to be missing your pounds. Okay, so I guess the only thing I do here is pound. And it's not working that greatly, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to try this, keep on doing and see what happens, because I want to try and get this. Keep on pounding away. I want to try and get my first win here to the end and see what happens, because uh, the Battle Factory is an interesting concept as well. Eventually, if you get down to it, you can face some trainers uh, who are just in this game just for the Battle Factory, like Brock and uh, Kogos in this game as well, and some other gym leaders from previous games are in this. But, like the actual Hoenn Battle Factory, I'm not that good. So it's all down to whether I can actually get there. Please don't use the uh, metronome, it's annoying. Okay, so you're going to use metronome again. Uh, head smash? Oh, you missed. Cool. I didn't even realise I was in this game. One more pound should do it, though. As long as I don't get hit, like, loads of times and one of them is a crit. So I should be okay. Come on, please. I want to... Come on. There we go. Jigglypuff. Beasts the Clefairy. Alright. Do I want to swap Pokemon? Um, You know what? No. No, I don't want to swap Pokemon. Okay, so... Round two. Okay, I'm going to see if... When I can... I'm going to see how far I can get today. Maybe we'll like stop once we lose. Okay, I'm going to go for the scratch. Because I know I'm going to lose eventually. Please don't leer me, Dratini. So we're facing a Chandelure here, a Chandelure here, and uh, we got this. We got a Dratini, and a Gen 1 Wrap is a thing. That's annoying. Gen 1 Wrap, stop feeding me up, please. Come on, that's four turns. Please stop it now. Actually, that's four turns. Is my rap gonna end? Yeah, my rap ended. All right. And my rap is continuing. Great. My rap is go going to happen again. I hate rap. It's just an annoying move. I'm going to switch out to try and see if I can like stop it from happening. Okay, Diglett. What you got for me? Thunder Wave. You can't hit Diglett. Thunder Wave. Oh, Diglett. You have such rubbish moves. Why do you have to have such rubbish moves, Diglett? I thought you'd only like powerful moves like Dig and Earthquake and stuff like that, but no, you just have Scratch and Growl and other, like, Sad Attack, and that's not cool. Yeah, and you, uh, you get destroyed by that. I'm not going to stay in. I am not staying in on an Oddish. I am not staying in on an Oddish. Add it. Acid. Charmander might go down here. My defense fell. That's not good. Okay, so that didn't do as much damage as I wanted it to there, Ember. I mean, I'm going to have to keep on Embering because it's the only thing I can do here, but we'll see what happens. Oh, we got the burn. All right. I think I could survive another turn. Oh, there's the absorb. Nope, not surviving now. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to Jigglypuff. Uh, let's go for the pound. Oh, Jigglypuff, you have to be slower. I guess we're just going to have to wait it out and see if we can get the like kill with the burn. But if you keep on absorbing, that's not going to happen. Because you can just absorb and get your burn energy back. Your burn damage back. Oh, well, that's it. That's super effective for fairy typers in this game, isn't it? So that's annoying. Can I wake up, please? Wow, this Oddish is actually going to destroy me. This Oddish is actually doing really well. I can live another acid. I can live another one because it didn't do that much damage. 
That one did. Okay, so pound. And down goes the Yorish. Alright. And a Clefairy. Another Clefairy? Oh, this one has Minimize. That's not good. That is not good at all. I hate Minimize. One of the most annoying moves in the game. Please stop the fence curling as well. Come on. Don't minimize again. Oh my god, this Clefairy. I think this might be the stoppage point here because I think this Clefairy is going to beat me. Because I don't have an effort to beat Minimize. And you keep on doing it. I only picked Jigglypuff for bulk. I only picked Jigglypuff to bulk things, but I, he can't really bulk what he can't see. And Minimize is just one of those things that makes you not able to see. But I'll keep on trying until we, like, until we're officially down. There's not really much I can do. Okay, so Jigglypuff down. Let's go with Diglett. Okay, so Diglett. Uh, can you scratch, please? Diglett, please let me scratch. Metronome. You using what? Razor Wind? Okay. Wow, that did a lot of damage. That is not cool. And, like, I'm doing nothing for you. This is all those defense curls. Great. Can you not minimize? I mean, it's like, it's not even important for you to minimize. You've won. Stop doing this. It's annoying. Please, just, like, win already. There we go, Metronome. Oh, Metronome used Haze. Okay, so all stat changes are eliminated now. So I can hit you again. Nice crit. Not even bad. Metro minimize. Now that's annoying. But I'm going to keep on doing it. Oh my god, if I can actually win this now because that haze. No, no, no. Double slap's going to kill me. Eventually, double slap will kill me. And now you're minimized again. God damn it. Ooh, I hit through the minimize. You're on red, but there's a double slap. Oh my god, so close. So close. Okay. That's annoying. I thought I could win that. I honestly thought I could win. Wow, there's a lot of emergency vehicles out today. I'm going to have to do a lot of cutting out and editing and all this other stuff. Yeah, sounds like a really bad emergency out there. Because <laughs> that's like the fourth car that's come past in like the past 30 minutes. It's annoying, but that's just the way it happens. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave off today's episode. Uh, I will probably do like a little montage to start off the next episode uh, to uh, get uh, strength, and then we'll uh, finish off the next, uh, the final episode of a Maze with going through the final route and ending up in the final cave. So until next time, I'm Josh Ph Games, and I will see you guys again. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And today's question of the day, which of course is, who is your favorite flying type Pokemon? And let me know your thoughts and opinions on this game as a whole. But until next time, I'm Josh Beats Games, and I am out. See you again.